Um, hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitz Hotel, aka your favorite 36 year old. Um, recently I've noticed that YouTube has been disabling my comments. Um, once again, YouTube, I'm totally not 13, I'm 36. Um, anyways, today I'm going to be sharing some life advice because, I mean, I'm not exactly the wisest, most oldest person on earth, but I do, I have learned a couple of things over my years of living. I'm going to be sharing them with you guys. Um, uh, don't put stuff in your eyes unless it's contacts or eye drops or actually safe stuff. Um, I remember one time I was drinking a can of Monster and it shot up to my eye and that hurt. Also, the other day as I was trimming my non-existent fingernails, um, my fingernail, it went into my eyeball. It, it went, like, right in- but, like, it didn't just, like, go in and then, like, I blinked a couple of times and it fell out. No, it was actually in there for quite a while. And I spent, like, an hour trying to pick it out. I had to use tweezers and that hurt. Also, when I was using, like, I was trying out, like, um, the water, the the eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner. Um, it, I learned liquid eyeliner, it spills into your eye a lot, so you have to be careful with that. Um, um, another thing, learn how to do things your own self. Um, especially if it's like getting your hair cut or something. I cut my own hair my own self. Um, cause like, you know, spending one bajillion monies at the hairdressers just for them to not do it correctly, it's kind of stupid. Um, and hair cutting, it's, it's really not that hard. Well, I mean, I guess it could be hard for some people, but for a lot of people, it's just a little snippety snip. It's, yeah. Um, especially, like, I didn't do this, but you can actually do research on things to get better at things and practice them. And practice makes perfect, I think. I don't really know. Um, also, another thing I'd recommend, I did this a lot, thrifting. It's fun. Because, like, you go to thrift stores and you can buy shirts for ridiculous prices. Like, I mean, come on, you go to places like Kmart or something and they're selling, like, t sh like just plain t-shirts for the price of $7. Like, come on, you could go to your local thrift store and buy, like, an even cooler shirt for, like, 50 cents. Um, another piece of life advice, don't be afraid to ask for help. I mean, if you don't need help, then why bother asking? But if you do genuinely, if, if you're stuck with something, then it's always best to ask for help because there's no point in just sitting there and being, like, stuck or something. Um, so yeah, always ask for help. It's good. I also, I need to say this, but... Um, you, you should drink water, um, because, like, um, I used to absolutely hate, actually, no, I still absolutely hate water, but I hate it least now, because, you see, do you guys know, uh, Rara powder? Um, it's, it's a sugary powder that you put in water, and it's, like, it makes a nice little juice. I used to drink that constantly. Um, not good for me. Um, and I wasn't drinking any water. And although my diet is mainly soda, um, I I do drink a a lot a, a lot of water. Um, and I would really re recommend drinking water because they're really quite good for you. I've read online, um, it can help with stuff, and it can keep your body running. And something I've noticed is that if I do drink a lot of water, then I actually feel quite more energized. I make sure to get some sleep as well. Sleep is good because it makes you feel energized. And also, you, you shouldn't really rely on caffeine. I mean, for me personally, um, I don't really get that kick out of caf uh, caffeinated drinks or stuff anymore. Um, but I, I, I do know that it has some bad side effects, um, such as you do get more tired and just you, you have to rely on it when it's actually not really help it. So sleep is sleep is good. You should get sleep. Um, also, do try to get some form of exercise in. Um, it's, it's good for you because 
like it, it just it gets your body moving and you actually feel kind of like lively and stuff which is good because you don't want to just be laying in your bed all day um I, i'm pretty sure i heard of this trend or something called bed rotting it seems stupid and i have no clue why people thought that it was a good idea another thing i'd recommend is um um eat with smaller appliances like sm like um yeah because it's 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 better for you because you get to actually savor it. Well, I mean, unless it's something that you think is like icky yucky. If it's something gross, then yeah, you should probably take bigger bites just so that you can get it over and done with. But if it's something like like a nice little dessert or something, then yeah, take small bites. That way you actually get to, you know, enjoy it. Oh yeah, and most importantly, always try to have a growth mindset. Um, I know a lot of people for some reason ask me for advice on stuff and I try to tell them about like what's it called um I, I try to give them advice and stuff to you know get rest and try to get better but they're always just like no it's too hard I can't do that but um what you have to understand is that like if you want to get better and better yourself then you have to at least you know want to do it and you have to actually strive and uh, like accomplish your goals or at least try to um because like there's no point in having a bunch of dreams and aspirations if you're like not ever ever going to try even if it's just small steps um oh yeah um another thing um with relationships and stuff so you see throughout my entire life like school life whatever People around me, they've always just been so bothered by the fact that they can't get into a relationship. But who, who cares? I mean, to be honest, I, I don't really understand romantic relationships. It's, yes, it is nice to have other people around you that, you know, can and will support you. But at the end of the day, you're the only person that can support you the most. And yes, it may be hard, but what's stopping you from achieving that? And I know that everyone has their own personal struggles, but, you know, you can work really, really hard towards your goals and achieve it. Um, this all stuff is quite hard to explain. Sorry about the crappy video. Um, my mind is a blender right now. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all those updates. Bye-bye.